<laughs> well, welcome back, my fantastic artistic friends to Painting with Master Temple. What we've got up here is a canvas board. We've taken a, a canvas board today and I've velcroed it to the uh, to the easel. Now, it's a white, it started off life as a white canvas, and uh, which had been primed, obviously, from the, from this uh, shop. And I've taken some black gesso, and in places I've just painted, loosely painted, um, some background material, some some trees, some evergreen trees there, we see some bushes there, and I think we're going to have a nice path. I love walking through the woods, and I think we're going to have a nice woodlandy kind of scene today. Greens and goldens and, and uh, some browns and all that sort of stuff. I've coated that once the, the, once the black had dried completely. I've coated it all with a very thin layer of liquid clear. Now, the boards may absorb some of the clear, right? So you've got to experiment a little bit with that. All right, so I'm going to take a tiny little two inch brush, okay, and I'm going to go into some Indian yellow. Just tap a little bit of Indian yellow in. Just tap. And that tapping on the palette makes, uh, gives a nice, nice even um, distribution of, of paint on the paintbrush. And we're just going to go up here and just paint a nice golden glow deep in the woods so we've got a little bit of sunset or sunlight shining through there okay and it doesn't matter painting straight over the background the gesso that's on there because it'll show through just coat the whole thing all the top half of the canvas it can even go down here as well a bit of reflected light might might get down here no you might not see it on the black parts but when we hit that with green it'll make a lovely a lovely color so we'll just coat that nearly all we'll leave as a little path in there but if you want to paint the path yellow you can do yellow brick, brick road you know someone once sang about all right gently go across the whole thing okay now i'm going to take some white paint so I'll pull that out and then again just tap a little bit of white paint but we don't want much white paint in there okay and then we're gonna have like a bit of a burning glow just in in there now white is opaque the Indian yellow is transparent so the white may cover some of your black um, gessoed parts but that's all right we can we can live with that we can live with that if we put on thin enough, we'll still we'll still see some of these uh, these gessoed parts uh, like that, just like that. Now, where this evergreen tree is, there, I'm going to take some white again on the brush, and I'm just going to I'm just going to pull from here and give a slight indication of some rays of sunlight just coming through the woods and you might find that hard to see as we're painting at the moment but eventually when we when we show you the full finished picture at the end you'll see it and it'll look really smart okay so just that like that just one or two rays of sun coming through there just like that okay now i'm going to clean the brush so odorless paint thinner just scrub it in the paint can shake off the excess <laughs> we love it don't we we love it and then because we've got liquid clear on there we want to make sure that the brush is really dry so once we've knocked it senseless against the easel, wipe it against a paper towel, okay? Because it might have a violent reaction up here. Okay, we're gonna put some little little uh, shapes up here, uh, where some little bushes may live, just down there. So for that, I'm gonna take a tiny bit of green, sap green, on this rounded brush. I'm just gonna tap bit more paint I think plenty of paint and I'm just going to tap like that 
just there and you'll get a lovely colour like that a lovely greeny colour there we can go back in here we can actually fill most of this in with green to be honest there. all right and then on this side as well so there'll be all kinds of bushes and and undergrowth brambles so let's take a little bit of brown into that as well vary the colour there just down on there like so maybe a little bit more in there maybe go into some cad yellow as well change the flavour of those those grasses a little bit of course we're going to have big trees up here in the foreground so we'll just fill this all in with some little bushes shrubs and whatnots all there just live in the back there like so maybe a bit more how are you all keeping anyway? I hope you're all doing fantastic and fine and, and uh, having a good time. I want to thank everybody that is subscribing to the channel as well now. We're doing quite well. We're over 320 as I'm painting this picture, which is quite good, which is amazing. Didn't think we'd get to 300 mark so soon. So I want to thank you all. Right, now, now we've got some sort of layout. Uh, I think we might have to put a little bit of a path in there. So let's take some brown. So I'm going to take some burnt sienna. A little bit of a spot to work. We'll go there. With a little knife. And I'm just going to scrub in a little path. A little pathy sort of shape. Now if you don't want a path, but you want a stream, you can do this with blue paint. Okay, just scrub that in. Change the flavour every now and again. So we might add some Van Dyke brown into that. There'll be shadows in the path as well. Just scrub that in there. Like that. It goes back all the way. Hardly any paint on the knife now as we go into the distance. That'll come round this corner down there. Too slow. Let's get a brush. Let's get a fan brush. Okay. Same colours. So Van Dyke Brown, Burnt Sienna. May even put a bit of black in there every now and again. So that's better. That's better. That's better. Just swirling a nice little path. And shape the path as well. If there's all kinds of people, dog walkers and animals, deer, badgers and foxes all walking down this path, it's going to have a, light, a slight indentation. So rocking the brush will definitely give that impression. There. Bring it further forward. Maybe a bit darker as it comes towards us. Just fill all this lot up. You could do this with a bigger brush, like we've just done with a palette knife. Whatever you fancy, whatever you fancy, so free. Such a free way of painting. There, of course, we'll come back. We'll come back and put some grasses all over the, uh, the edges there. When we've got some brown on the paintbrush, in fact, I'm gonna change paintbrushes. Uh, let's pick some of this brown off. So Van Dyke brown. Let's have some of the tree trunks on show. So where this black gesso is, I'm just going to paint some Van Dyke brown all the way down there like that. Yes, like that. Going to make those old gnarly sounds. There we go. So that's one tree. 
painted there. Maybe we've got maybe a bit darker, mix a bit of black in with that. And we're going to have one on this side, I think, as well, just to hold this side up. So we'll have this tree come in there. Oh, lots of paint. When the paint's dry, what you'll get is that bark feel. That really, it feels like a tree. Maybe up here as well. So really, oh, we'll come back in here and, and drop some highlights on this bark as well. But because the black gesso has given us a good guide of where we need to, to paint, it works out quite all right. Makes life easy for us. And that's all we want to do, isn't it? Maybe we'll pull that tree in front. Maybe we can pull that one when it comes down there. So just a little bit of an indication there for now. We'll come back and put some grasses in all that though. Right, so back to the fan brush, which has got the browns on. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of white. Just a tiny bit of white, mix it in with those browns. I'm gonna add a tiniest bit of a lizard crimson as well. And then up here, we can just start putting some highlights in with that. Now, if you get a bit of green, that's fine. Let's see a little bit more. There, where the, where the light would shine on the path. That. And then we'll just rock that side to side as well. Like I said, it works well with a waterway. On the previous channel, we did that. We put a water, we put a waterway running through the woods, which very nice. And then down there, like that. There we go. So we've got some shadows in the sludge and the mud and the muddy path there now take a dry brush and i'm just gonna gently just go over all that lot this is clean dry two inch brush just to bring all that path together there then just knock off the excess Right, let's add some more, some more shrubs and stuff. So yellows, reds, greens, whatever we've got going. Just add another little, make it come over onto the path, push the path into the painting. Sit the path down. A bit more over there like that. See all kinds of shrubs and grasses will start growing onto the path. Uh, like so, change the flavour every now and again, whatever, whatever takes your fancy. There. And a bit more on this side, yeah? Just down there like that. Maybe there's a really light spot there. more back in there can't really tell it's, it's deep in the woods you see it's deep in the woods what we got down here we'll have a bit more of this this color varying the flavor as we go bit more these black cam well this is black gesso canvas has really worked for you i was uh, reading a message on facebook that they never painted on black canvases you know somebody never painted on a black canvas before and they gave it a go and wow their their painting world had transformed <laughs> instantly overnight just really works so some more green down there, like that. Maybe there's a different colour bush in there, like so. Go back to the yellows. And just add in another little 
a little plain. Don't kill all the dark that you put on. You don't want to kill all the dark, but just leave little little indications of darkness, shadows in your painting. Let's go for a bit of red in that one. Red and green kind of make a a, a nice a nice coloured browny colour. Of course, we get all sorts of different colours in the woods just down there like so let's let's change uh let's change the brush over let's get a little let's get the rounded brush okay let's take some of this green yellows okay and then you can come in here you could do this with a fan brush i suppose as well and just just change the side so we're painting sideways on and it'll look like fern leaves. Just creeping over there like that. There, a bit more colour. Different colour there. Down like so. What's the favourite thing you guys like to paint anyway? You see me painting constantly, so uh, I'd like to know what you guys like to paint. Do you like landscapes like I do, or do you like um, do you like portraits or, or other things like so? I'd like to know. Just neaten that edge up a bit. Okay, I'm going to take another fan brush, and I'm going to go into the greens. So sap green and cad yellow varying proportions give a little bit of an indication of some grasses down here just like that <laughs> got a bee a bee's joined us don't know if you can see the bee so we'll just fill in all this just like that and then we'll come back and we'll work on the trees there like so Super simple, yeah? Super simple. We've nearly got a finished painting and we've hardly done anything. We've hardly done a thing. Because a lot of it's in the prep. But fail to prepare, prepare to fail, right? There we go. A bit more down there. I won't spend too long. Like so, grab the fan brush with the browns on there. Get a bit more darker brown. And then we can come back and just grab some of this and pull it just like we would do with snow. And that's your shadow colours. So if you get a bit of green in there, that's all right as well. That's your shadow colours and just neaten all that low. There. Okay, I think we'll have, actually, I'm going to put I think we'll have one there as well. We will now. A broken branch, broken tree. Oh, there, like that. It happens in nature. We get broken tree trunks. There, like that. Okay, let's make some highlight colour. So, let's get some. La Van Dyke Brown, Burnt Sienna, Touch of White, bit more white, bit more white. Keep playing till you get the flavour you're wanting. Okay, now the light's coming from there, so I'm just going to use this like I would the palette knife. Just gently, hardly touch the canvas with that light colour. Just really touch. Super soft and gentle. Super soft, super gentle. Let it bounce, move, jiggle it. Create all those wonderful, wonderful bark effects. Where well, the woodpecker's got to gotta go, hasn't he? Or she. Get girly woodpeckers, don't we? Yeah, we do. Sometimes you can hear them. <laughs> okay, on this bigger one, we'll... We'll come down there like that. Shh. Bit more 
bit more of the light color. Down, down, right. We need to think of where this tree's stopping, stopping their look. Just gently does it, very gently. Let it, let it graze the canvas. There we go, down. Like that. Of course, when you've got limited time at home, you could be doing, you could be doing one stroke, take a step back and, and have a look at it. Okay, we're just going to put some on this side of this tree. Jiggle and wiggle. That comes down there like that. Maybe a beef it up a little bit there. So, super simple this one. I hope somebody gives it a little bit of a go. It's not, it's not a terribly difficult one to do. It's quite effective. And we'll work on that down there, like so. Change the flavour a bit more. A bit more white in there. There we go. Really catching the light. Ooh. Of course... The black gesso will create all sorts of lovely silhouetted shapes in the background. A bit more there. I'd love to climb this tree. I think I've said that many times before. I used to love climbing trees as a kid. In fact, I still do. I'm a little bit more fearful of falling out of them now, though. side like that I'm gonna add a tiny bit of blue to this color and blue will give a cooler shadow if effect so on the shadow side of the trees just paint a little bit and again just jiggle let it move let it blend there like so again on that on this one so this phthalo blue white and the browns nice cool shadowy color on this tree down we go blend all that together just like that Let's go into this one now. We don't want this tree left out. So again, just a little bit of that brownie blue just there, like so. Now I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna take a fan brush, a dry one. And then I'm just gonna gently graze all this. So go down and just graze it all, okay? Just very gently, spin it around, just gently wiggle and jiggle and graze, graze all this, and say on this side, there, so it sort of semi blends the colours together, we're going to put a shadow on this one, now we'll just put a shadow colour just there in the middle, Okay, light's coming there. Uh, we'll probably have a little bit of light just there. So a little bit more white into that brownie mix. Just there. And if it looks like there's too much, just take a brush with some paint on it, brown paint, and just blend it in. Blend it in just like that. Looks like really old wood. Now then, there'll be a shadow down here, so I'm going to take a tiny bit of black and just put a bit of a shadow there, like that. Same down here. Right, back to the fan brush with the greens on. Can clean up the feet of these big old trees. And this one here. And back to this one. Bit of highlight on that. There we go, down in there. 
Right, so let's work on the big one up the top. We've got uh, we've got to work on all this foliage now. So I think let's go for let's go for this rounded brush. Okay, sap green, cad yellow, a little bit of brown, a little bit of red, a little bit of Indian yellow, whatever colours we've got going, and we'll just come up here and work on individual clumps. Just like that. So don't kill all the black. Don't kill all the black. Again, this may be silhouetted. That just keep them going like so. Big old tree, big old pine tree. Same on this side. Bring it right into the right into the yellow and there's some that, that creep over and back here push those rays of sunshine back into the painting you see and then maybe on this side as well maybe there's something there there we go well, I think we're nearly done. I'm going to take a little bit more of the yellow and every now and again just put a little bit of a shiner just up there like that. Think of each individual clump though, like we said. Where's the light coming from? Where will it strike? Like that. There we have it. Right, I'm going to take the script liner brush and I think we should sign this one. Okay, now you can add all sorts of branches and trunks and uh, in fact, let's just add one just for demonstration purposes. So thin oil, Van Dyke Brown. Okay, really thin this out. Really thin this out and then we're going to take this uh, and it comes out there like so if it's not flowing add a bit more thin oil maybe even a touch of paint thinner to that as well just to just to thin it down a little bit more and come back there there like so all the way out into the foreground it's a big branch like that, a couple more on this one. Again, don't don't just have them coming off to the side. The branches grow anywhere. They come out from the middle. They go up from the top. There, like that. Of course, if you want some sticks down in. The base, you will have some sticks down in the base as well. You know, you could add some in. You could even cut through with your palette knife. So we'll just add a few in there. Wherever you think one should be, that's where we'll put it. Okay, I'm gonna swill the brush off. Grab some thin oil again, go into some red, and we'll sign this one. So I hope you've enjoyed this. It's a little bit simple, easy. It's deep in the woods. Okay, if you have liked it, give me a big thumbs up, give me a comment, and please subscribe to the channel if you can. Happy days.